promoter sent us a text of get more uh, uh, airbag deployment loop, they call it. And if you're in the dealership environment, these are in the dealerships. Uh, this one, the lamp plugs in, it's got a two pin plug, set of sharding bars inside the bag. But when you plug this, this in, it actually moves those sharding bars away, which lets us, me, detect voltage and power this thing up and, and deploy it. The rest of it is basically an extension cord and uh, with two ends on it, nothing more, just so that you can be far enough away from this thing so that if it decides to jump, it doesn't jump and hurt you. Um, you, you may or may not be instructed to deploy one of these inside the car. Typically you're not, you usually take them out. You can't ship one of these unless it's deployed. If, um, yeah, so if you get an airbag recall somewhere along the line, you may get the job of actually popping airbags. Maybe <laughs> Fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, enough of that. Here's what I'm gonna start off with. One and a half volt battery. We're going to nine volt battery. If that doesn't start, if that doesn't work, you got a backup. Do you like turn it upside down so it like shoots no, in here? No, I don't want to do that because it may take something out. <laughs> um, an we're idea. just doing the same thing we can. So anyway, I'll start off. Polarity doesn't matter. Positive and negative. Uh, it's going to make a hell of a noise. You've got to have some smoke. It's going to stink the place up. That's why I close the garage door. Ready? We'll do a three. A two, a three, a two, a one. Nothing. Not enough energy. So now we're graduating to a nine volt. Now usually a nine volt battery is all you need. Uh, if you think about the size of capacitors that are in the SDMs, which you've already seen, capacitors are real small, and it doesn't take a whole lot of energy to light one of these off. So uh, we'll do the same routine on a three, a three, a two, a one. Now, That's cool. One of the things you need to look, first of all, this isn't hot. It's a little warm, but it's not hot at all. Um, I told you a story about the person, you know, if you had a bad day, the bad day would be that you would, uh, the bad day would be that you'd survive the collision, but the car's full of smoke, you think it's on fire, so therefore you get out of the car and get ran over by a truck. <laughs> not a bad day. And you can see why somebody would want to get out of the car. <laughs> now, if you have a passenger, dri passenger driver's side airbags, you got both of them, and they both light off, the passenger side airbags are much bigger, therefore they have more propeller in them, and they make more smoke. They actually both light off at the same time, so of course you're going to think the car's on fire. It smells like it's on fire. Common sense would say, get out of the fire. All right. Be careful about that. And, you know, and, and, and you know, we're, after you've had a surviving collision after an airbag deployed, you don't have your head about you anyway. But. Anyway, um, the burns that people talk about primarily are like run burns from, from hitting this cab bar. The, uh, the back of this, I would advise you not to touch it for a long time. <laughs> because again, we had to have enough propellant in there to inflate this bag as fast as we inflate it. And it'll sit around here for a couple hours and it'll still be hot. So, you know, again, keep in mind, it melted the end of the connector. I hope it didn't melt my adapter. No, it did not. Okay. Do you have another one? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Just, just>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, it's like one of those days, one of those things where I prepare you for an hour and it takes two seconds. You know, it's a little more or less than a second. Um, I tell you what we could do, and we'll do this next week because I don't want to do too much of this all at one time. I don't want to use it all up. I've got uh, some uh, pretensioners, and we'll light off a pretensioner so that you can see what a pretensioner does. You know, and, and actually watch what happens and, and hear the noise. The seatbelt pretensioners, so that you can get comparison. Stop. Uh -huh.